Ezra Revi for Ezra 2, verse 1. Thus says Yahweh, I brought this people out of bondage and gave them my commandments by men servants, the prophets, whom they would not hear, but despised my counsels. The mother that bore them says unto them, Go your way, ye children, for I am a widow and forsaken. I brought you up with gladness, but with sorrow and heaviness have I lost you. For ye have sinned before Yahuwah Elohechem, and done that thing which is evil before him. But what shall I now do unto you? I am a widow and forsaken. Go your way, O my children, and ask mercy of Yahuwah. As for me, O Father, I call upon you for a witness over the mother of these children, which would not guard my covenant, that you bring them to confusion and their mother to a spoil, that there may be no offspring of them. Let them be scattered abroad, abroad among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth, for they have despised my covenant. Woe be unto you, ash -shur. You that hide the unrighteous in you, O oh, you wicked people, remember what I did unto Sidam and Amorah, whose land lies in clods of pitch and heaps of ashes, even so also will I do unto them that hear me not, says El Shaddai Yahuwah. Thus says Yahuwah unto Ezra, Tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Yerushalayim, which I would have given unto Yashar'el. Their glory also will I take unto me, and give these the everlasting tabernacles which I had prepared for them. They shall have the tree of life for an ointment of sweet savor. They shall neither labor nor be weary. Go, and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Take heaven and earth to witness, for I have broken the evil in pieces and created the good, for I live, says Yahweh. Mother, embrace your children and bring them up with gladness. Make their feet as fast as a pillar, for I have chosen you, says Yahweh. And those that be dead will I raise up again from their places and bring them out of the graves, for I have known my name in Yashara'el. Fear not, you mother of the children, for I have chosen you, says Yahweh. For your help will I send my servants Esau and Yeremiyahu, after whose counsel I have sanctified and prepared for your twelve trees, laden with diverse fruits. And as many fountains flowing with milk and honey, and seven mighty mountains, whereupon there grow roses and lilies, whereby I will fill your children with joy. Do right to the widow, judge for the fatherless, give to the poor, defend the orphan, clothe the naked, heal the broken and the weak, laugh not a lame man to scorn, defend the maimed and let the blind man come into the sight of my clearness. Keep the old and young within your walls, wheresoever you find the dead. Take them and bury them, and I will give you the first place in my resurrection. Abide still, O my people, and take your rest, for your quietness still come. Nourish your children, O good nurse, Establish your feet. As for the servants whom I have given you, there shall not one of them perish. For I will require them from among your number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness comes, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but you shall be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy you, but they shall be able to do nothing against you, says Yahweh. My hands shall cover you, so that your children shall not see Sheol. Be joyful, O mother, with your children, for I will deliver you, says Yahweh.
Remember your children that sleep, for I shall bring them out of the sides of the earth and show mercy unto them. For I am merciful, says Yahuwah Sevaoth. Embrace your children until I come and show mercy unto them, for my wells run over and my grace shall not fail. I, Ezra, received a charge of Yahuwah upon Mount Orev, that I should go unto Yashar'el. But when I came unto them, they set me at naught and despised the commandment of Yahuwah. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, that hear and understand, look for your shepherd, he shall give you everlasting rest. For he is nigh at hand, that shall come in the end of the world. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world, receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. O oh, receive the gift that is given you, and be glad, giving thanks unto him that has led you to the heavenly kingdom. Arise up and stand, behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of Yahuwah, which are departed from the shadow of the world, and have received glorious garments of Yahuwah. Take your number, O Sion, and shut up those of yours that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the Torah of Yahuwah. The number of your children whom you longed for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of Yahuwah that your people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised Yahuwah with songs. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the mortal, rather than put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of Elohim. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowns them and gives them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of Elohim, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh. Then the angel said unto me, Go your way, and tell my people what manner of things, and how great wonders of Yahweh Elohecha you have seen. Chapter 2 